I've hardly listened to Noah in the last three months, two months maybe, because I couldn't get tickets to his Australian tour. And <sighs> no, like, oh, I just got full body goosebumps. I am one of, I am the luckiest girl in the world. But I got a ticket to one of his Sydney shows and I could literally cry cry thinking about it and ever since I found out yesterday afternoon I haven't been able to stop playing him because I just oh my gosh because I just can't believe I'm gonna be seeing him live <laughs> like that's not real could cry Illy Noah. Anyway, good morning. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I've had a great morning so far. Obviously, you saw I went to Hustle, then went to a holiday with Soph and got a bunch of work done. And I'm feeling so good. It's now 11. I've come home. I'm going to have some lunch. And then Winnie and I are going to go over to Lang's place. He's going to have a play date with Ned. And then Lang, Soph, and I have a call. And then the weather is so good today. Finally, it has been so rainy and gloomy and gross on the Gold Coast recently. And the weather is semi good today. So I need to spend some time beside Lang's pool reading. It's book club tomorrow. Um, would you like to know how much of <laughs> the book I have left to read? Let me tell you. My Kindle says, um, I have 70% left. And that's what 70% looks like. So, really unfortunate for me. I hate leaving book club books to the last minute. I hate it so much. But my time management skills since coming home from our big trip has been so bad. So, wow, I'm really giving Red Queen today, aren't I? With my red. I love this Gymshark top so much. I think the neck cutout is so flattering. And then I love just wearing different colored sports bras underneath because it's just like a bit of a pop of color without being like color you know and it matches my nails which is kind of fun also do you love my mushroom I got him in Brighton I love it so I need to read 70% of this book today my Kindle estimated it to take me five hours and 45 minutes so fingers crossed I can get it done I actually like don't really have an option like it's getting done like I'm probably gonna have to listen to the audio book of it on Spotify while I walk Winston tonight like all hands on deck today to get this done so I've had my work morning I got as much work as I could done now I'll read we'll have our work call or keep reading until i'm done so happy wednesday i'm starting this vlog a little bit late unfortunately i'm so hungry i need to grab some lunch do, 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 do. hi boys i only made two oh catch up please i, know. Oh, I made another one <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm in a little bit of a brutal mood right now. Um, I haven't vlogged anything and we're like about to leave, but I just thought I'd do it without my camera. Rachel's really sad about it. <laughs> Threading these little ones onto this braid thing Which has hard. really given me like That's why you're in your slump right now. Wait, can you show me? I mean my bracelet slump. Do you have swearing on your chat? I do. Slut! Uh, <laughs> update, I finished the book club book on the way to book club this morning. So we had book club and now we've been making friendship relations. So we also went and saw Mean Girls. Actually, I'm not sure what to say. What's about your rating out of 10? Ooh. Ooh. To be fair, I wasn't like a huge OG Mean Girl person. I maybe watched it twice. But I don't know much to like compare it to. But Renee Wright. So I feel like that makes it like maybe like an eight or nine. What would you rate it? I'm a big musical girl. Yeah. And I am also am a big mean girls girl. Yeah, I'd say like an eight or nine. Mostly. But I think, I will say, I think it's for a niche audience. Yeah. And also I feel like it's one of those things where like people's criticisms are like valid. Yeah. If you're expecting the original Moon, Mean Girls movie, Don't. it's not for you. So have seen the musical? Mm. On Broadway. Like I really enjoyed it, but, but. maybe like a seven. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. Quite high. Yeah. Renee Rapp. Renee Rapp is all we have to say. You know what and I'm Janice, just saying? Honestly, Carrie. Janice! I love myself is for Janice. Yeah, yeah, she is. I was watching it yeah. yeah. Like she walked down the street at the end, I was like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. you're kidding. What did you rate it? What's your rating? Maybe like a seven. Five. Yeah, okay. I don't know if I'd watch it again. Ron, can yours? you come over here? I wanted to show you the bracelets I made. I only made two today. Um, you need to react. <laughs> <laughs> no, I <laughs> want you to show you your bracelet. This is. Wow! <laughs> I just want everyone else to show their bracelet. I can't show you. It says love is a lie with midnight colors. And it's for a baby. I made it so small by accident. <laughs> um, and I did another you're gay one. I've come prepared for all my gays. Mine just says slut. <laughs> That's all I've made today. I love the style. I, like I used star. it for the first time. Mine were also aggressive. I wasn't feeling very creative them. They're colorful. Today. I made August. So I'd be the man and uh, 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 uh. it's just white. I love it. I like the colorful of this. <laughs> I just can't believe favorite. that like, we just like have them all here right now and then like they're gonna go home with different people. Literally. Like that's so fun. I, I love this so really much. True. Anyway. Tees. <laughs> I can't see my face in it. <laughs> 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 this is on TikTok. Yeah, I don't know this. <laughs> Good morning. 
Look at this fun little new sports bra I'm wearing. I've never really worn one shouldered things. I feel like every now and then I'm like, yeah, I look good. And then I'll look at myself again a few minutes later and be like, it looks so strange. I can't decide. These shorts are also new Gymshark. I don't know what they're called. I'll put them on the screen. Guys, I've lost my whole bum. I'm as flat as a pancake because I've been so inconsistent with the gym. It's so sad. It's so sad. Oh, Gymshark, obviously. These shorts are very stretchy and very cute. I don't know how I feel about the bum, like, scrunching, but they're so comfy and I love the length. So I will wear them anyway. And this is part of their new, like, cotton ribbed collection. They have tees, long sleeves, and then these off-the-shoulder sports bras as well. I think I like it. I think? I don't know. I'm going to wear it anyway. My dilemma this morning is I have no food in the house, but I don't have time to go grocery shop, come home, cook breakfast, and then go out for my day. So I think I'm going to pack a bag, take my laptop, and go to a cafe. Maybe I'll go to some raffers. Throw a little plot twist in there and do some work, eat some breakfast before I go to a lash appointment. I haven't got my lashes done in so long, but I'm going on a trip next week, and I would love to have fresh lashes for it. I'm just getting a lash lift and tint. I'm so excited. I'm kind of dreading, like, sitting there and doing nothing for a while. I'm thinking of taking my little AirPods and like asking if I could just like listen to something and like listening to a book or something. Don't look at my messy laundry. Um, Winston and I got caught in the rain on our walk and I feel like my sunscreen has gone all like gross. Like it's all milky and like rolling off me because I got soaked. It's really fun. I just finished my lash appointment. This is the after. My eyes are blurry and it's wigging me out. Like I'm trying not to be scared about it. I'm sure it'll go away, right? But my lashes are so much longer than I expected. Even when I laid down, she was like, oh my gosh, your lashes are so long. I was like, oh, I'm here because they're not long and I need them like lifted and tinted. But they're quite long, which I'm obsessed with. I'm so glad. I'll put the name of the place I went to on the screen here. Honestly, I'm sure that this is probably like a red flag or like a bad rating to some people, but my lady like didn't speak to me like at all the whole appointment and I loved that like please don't speak to me I don't want to make small talk with you for an hour um and we didn't and it was great she was like lay down oh my gosh your lashes are so long okay you can open your eyes now like this is literally all we said and I was so glad about it I just laid there for an hour listening to the music they were playing and I really enjoyed it I'm already like half blind as well like I already have quite bad eyesight and now my eyes are blurry from this so that's really amazing for me I will be putting on my prescription <laughs> sunglasses for the rest of the day oh my god I literally Literally, it's blurry. Like, it has to go away. Also, you're sitting on top of my steering wheel if you're wondering what this weird angle is. But that's my update. I'm also so glad that I brought a jumper to wear in there because I laid down and I was like, oh, it's literally freezing in here. They did offer me a blanket, which I think is so nice. But I'm gonna go to the holiday and meet up with Soph and have a bit of a work stint. My vlog is like 98% done. Question, actually. Can you comment down below if you prefer intros and vlogs or not? I feel like in travel vlogs, intros are my favorite. Like, I love it because there's so much going on in them. But for like home vlogs i feel like i look like an idiot with my sunglasses on for home vlogs is an intro is just so pointless because it's like okay like you're hanging out you're washing and you're like talking in your kitchen like it's not exciting so like is that intro gonna like hook you in or do you literally not care at all i'd love to hear everyone's points of view because me as a vlogger watcher i don't really mind like i love an intro but i also like don't care if a vlog doesn't have one because all my last vlogs have been travel vlogs i've been making intros and honestly i hate making them like they're so annoying to make <laughs> Uh, it's like my least favorite part of the editing process but if people love them enough then obviously it's worth it but then if you don't then i won't keep forcing myself to make them wow like these are my lashes that's crazy i'm off to get a jaffle <laughs> I just feel like they're half shut. But my eyelashes look good, so that's good. Going to a Naked Harvest Times Hustle event today. They're bringing out a Pilates program. So I think we're doing a workout all together. I haven't been to like, an influencer event in quite a while. So like, am I kind of nervous? Yeah. But I know it'll be so good to see so many of the girls. But I have this event this morning and then I'm driving back to Brisbane and I'm catching up with one of my friends, Kate. I think we're having lunch at her. Why do I say I think when I know for a fact what I'm doing? We're having lunch at her place and we're making French 
bunch of bracelets because I need to make so many. I feel like the Taylor Swift concert is really sneaking up and I don't have enough bracelets. And I need to like clean my house really well, do some loads of washing, and then I need to start packing. Also one of the things I was busy yesterday doing. This is what I mean by like, I'm busy, but like it's a good busy. I got my nails done. I got pastel yellow chrome, which I've never had chrome before. And I really enjoy it. I think I'm gonna start getting chrome more often because it just like makes them look so shiny. I don't know if you can see properly, but I got holographic stars on two of my fingers and I really love it. Short, square, colorful. Those are the nails that's in for me this year. I'm obsessed. Anyway, I'm gonna put my shoes on. <laughs> Go get a Pilates sweat on. I already know that this workout's gonna make me so sore for like days. So that's good. my side of the bed you know where your side is he's giving me major side eye for making him move the attitude i feel like the longer i live with my lashes being lifted and tinted the more i think i look crazy i don't know i think when i have makeup on it's okay and maybe it's just because they're like fresh i don't know i feel like i look funny you know what i can't stop doing i can't stop crying about jc marie smith being pregnant i feel like that's kind of niche like it's a if you know you know kind of situation but after the naked harvest event today i came home had a quick bite to eat got winston and then i drove to brisbane dropped money off at my brother's place so he could have a play date and then i went over to my friend kate's place and had a little afternoon with her which was so nice and then my drive home i was feeling emotional and then i was like you know what i need a podcast to like help get this hour drive done and so i listened to the what we said episode where chelsea and jc are talking about jc being pregnant and i just sobbed i just sobbed and then i finished the episode and then i was just crying about literally anything else and like every time i open tiktok she's posted another reactions video of like telling someone in her life that she's pregnant and every single one makes me cry and i normally am like not one for the big announcements like i normally am like oh it's so exciting that you're pregnant but i just can't stop crying about it and i just had to get that off my chest really i literally have been out of the house go 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 since 6 30 this morning and i just got home showered and it's 10 40 so i'm gonna go to bed i haven't packed i do need to be ready by like 11 a.m anyway i'm going to bed It is Monday morning, it is 6.30, and I'm currently in Sydney. I haven't been to Sydney for more than a night in years. Like, I think the last time I was here was with, like, Soph, Riley, and Rate. We had that weird big trip. I honestly kind of love Sydney, like, a lot more than I love Melbourne. But I'm just never really here for anything. So, I'm excited to be here. I have the Noah Khan concert tomorrow night, and that's why I'm here. So, I just came for a few nights. I thought I'd, like, make this day worth it. I've got a little flat all to myself. I I have all day today with no plans, no one to see, nothing to do in a new city and tell me why. That excites me so much. There's this acai bowl place that I tried last time we were in Sydney called Fruitologist and it was hands down the best acai bowl I've ever had. And I've had a lot. To be fair, everyone's ratings are different. Everyone like looks for different things in acai bowls, but it really ticked all my boxes and I think about it often. So it's a 15 minute drive from my comp. So I scheduled an Uber last night. He's picking me up in 30 minutes. And then I think it's not a long walk from the Asai place to the beach, to Bondi Beach. So I'm going to just walk there. I'm going to take my headphones, I'm going to take my book, and I'm just going to enjoy a bit of a day out. I'm staying in Kensington, which is like quite a bit out of the city and the beach and stuff. And so I have no idea what's around, but I'd kind of love to like find a cafe nearby and do a bunch of work there. But can I be bothered finding one? you know but i've just finished getting ready i've been loving having my lashes lifted and tinted i feel like it makes doing my makeup so much quicker i love it i do feel like i look a little bit crazy when i don't have makeup on i take my wins with my losses you're a driver will arrive early and wait for you 
Slay, thank you. Please wait outside for me, I'll, I'll be out soon. I need to put sunscreen all over my body. I arrived in Sydney yesterday and it was 35 degrees. Like, are we in Queensland right now? What's going on? But I think today and tomorrow it's only getting up to 25. Not too bad. UV is six, could be worse. Could be better. And I'm terrified of Australian sun. So, sunscreen's going on. Why does my skin sound so dry when I'm putting on sunscreen? Okay. I'm gonna trip over anything. This is my outfit. Got my George and Joseph one piece on. My New Balance white sneakers. Got my hat from Urban Outfitters. It's very annoying of me. For my Australians. Uniqlo bag. I've got my book, my headphones, my camera, my phone. And my Uber is here. So, let's go get this aside bowl. I'm so excited. Good morning. Good, how are you? It definitely tastes different than I remember, but not necessarily in a bad way. It looks so beautiful. <laughs> it looks gorgeous. I also am on a main road. I'm gonna put my camera away because you definitely can't hear me. Honestly, never looked better. I had such a good time exploring Sydney today. Like, I really, really enjoyed spending some time on my own. I did find it like challenging and hard. Like, it was definitely out of my comfort zone, but in the best way possible. I went for a beach walk, had a little cafe date by myself, continued reading my book. This is the book I'm currently reading. I don't know how to say cerulean this word but this is the book that rachel gifted me for our friend book exchange for christmas she wrote a little note inside but this is a queer cozy fantasy you're kidding me i did struggle getting into it just because not a lot is going on it's just like kind of a feel-good fantasy and i honestly don't think i've read any cozy fantasy but when rachel gave me this book she was like i can't believe i haven't recommended this to you sooner it's also very different because the main character is a 40 year old single man so i definitely can't relate to everything like you know how most main characters are young girls and you can like semi relate to them even if you're not similar to them purely because they're a young woman that's not the case with this obviously but in saying that this man is so anxious he overthinks everything. He is the cutest, most wholesome old man. And when he talks about being single and alone or just like his life, I feel a little like connection to him purely because I'm single, anxious, overthink everything type of energy. I have just under a hundred pages to go and I'm going to be sad to finish it. Like at the start, I was like wishing it would go quicker. Now I'm wishing it would go slower because I love all of the characters so much. The slow beginning like makes you really, really connect with all of the characters and they're all so cute. And I really hope that it's a happy ending. I wish that I had been carrying around a highlighter with me while reading this book because there are so many things I wish I could underline but I don't think it'll be a book that I'm gonna reread so I guess it's never getting underlined but really enjoying this maybe I'll read the last hundred pages tonight after my morning exploring I did go to a few shopping centers do a bit of shopping I only bought two t-shirts and they're repurchases of my Uniqlo black and white tees because I've worn my others to death and I wear them so much that I need like two in my wardrobe at all times then I came home I did some work for a bit then I walked down to IGA and bought a bunch of snacks for tomorrow and while I was in IGA this is controversial but Easter bunnies were on the shelf already and I got so excited that I bought a huge one <laughs> you know those people who like complain about Christmas decorations and Easter stuff coming out too early I will never be one of those people I think the world is sad enough as it is I would take any excuse to celebrate for longer and by celebrate I mean eat more Easter bunnies I think Easter bunnies are my favorite form of chocolate so I have demolished almost the whole thing today. So that's a slay. I can't remember what I said in the first clip of this vlog because I was in a bit of a daze getting ready so early this morning, but I'm in Sydney because I'm going to a Noah Khan concert tomorrow night, which I actually just can't believe that I'm saying. I can't believe that I'm doing it. I can't believe I'm here. If you watch the weekly vlogs all the time, you would know I tried to get tickets to Noah three times. Every single time there was an opportunity, I was there in the queue waiting and I missed out every single time. But Universal Music, who manages Noah Khan, reached out and they 
they managed to get me one ticket to the Sydney show. So I booked my flights. I booked my comm as quick as I could. And I'm just so unbelievably grateful to be here. I'm literally not going to cry. Like 2024 is the year that I get to see my top two artists live. And that will never not blow my mind. But because I'm in Sydney alone, I don't really have anything to do tomorrow other than go to the concert at 7 p.m. So I'm going to go line up early, which I've never done before. And I'm kind of scared to do one because I'm alone. So anytime I need to leave the line, like to pee, which first of all, where are we peeing? Not sure. Second of all, I'm going to have to talk to the people in front or behind me in line to like hold my spot for me. Also, am I just going to be so unbelievably bored? I'm going to like take my Kindle. I'm going to take my headphones. I'm going to take a portable charger, but like I'm going to be waiting there a really long time. I just dropped chocolate in my bed. So I feel like it'll be really, really boring, but also so is sitting on my couch in my accommodation. So I'm going to do it. I'm not going to set an alarm tomorrow. I'm just going to wake up, get dressed, take myself out for a brekkie. I actually need to go and buy the portable charger. <laughs> do I have to charge it before I use it? Do they come charged? Not sure. That's all I need to do in the morning and then I'm going to head to the venue. I don't know. I'm scared and I've never been to a concert alone and I'm not scared for like the actual concert part. I'm just scared for the time before and after. Like when everyone's just like in there excited to talk to their friends and I'm just standing there like a little loner. We'll see. We'll see. But that's my plan of attack. I'll see you on Noah Khan day. Oh my fucking God. I can't believe my life. Good morning. I'm currently waiting at the bus stop. I just walked to the IGA that is near me and bought a portable charger and checked that it had some charge and it does. So that's amazing. It is like 10, almost 10.30 by the time my bus will arrive, which like is quite late. Like that's not like lining up early for a concert, but it's better than arriving at 7. Surely. I'm gonna catch the bus to a cafe that's like kind of near the venue and then I'll head to the venue and wait in line. I've got so many snacks. I've packed everything I need, I think. Surely I'm prepared enough. I don't have anything to sit on. That's my one qualm. But like I'm not going and buying a chair or a rug or something that I can't bring home. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It is very, very lightly sprinkling right now. So as long as it doesn't keep raining, I can just sit on the ground. Um, there are so many people walking past looking at me, which is fair. <laughs> I would look at someone vlogging in public too. So that's the update. I really hope that it it's just fine. I hope that the people around me are nice. My toxic trait is thinking that like if we like the same artist, you're also a really nice person. I could be wrong. I'm scared of strangers. So that is my update. My phone is on flight mode until I need it. I've got 10 minutes until the bus arrives. I'm already bored. <laughs> Standing around waiting, not using my phone is boring. Um, also, I've gone with the most boring basic outfit ever and I don't really care. Well, I'm convincing myself that I don't care. I literally don't care. <laughs> Like, you're convincing yourself. But I just wanted to be comfy because I'm going to be sitting on the ground for like seven hours and then standing for another few after that. Comfort is key. Okay, I'm going to stop vlogging. I don't know if I'll update you like when because I don't want to just like whip out my camera and start talking to myself in line with people. But I'll see you when I see you. Pack up your stairs in the hallway it's almost 1 a.m. and I'm just contemplating my whole life because tonight was maybe one of the best nights of my life <laughs> I have so many thoughts and I don't have anyone else to like chat to about them because I'm here alone so you do get all my thoughts I'm really sorry this vlog has been so chatty already so sorry if you hate chatty vlogs but here I am anyway today felt like such an emotional day and I think that there are so many little aspects that played into that first of all going to my first concert alone in a new place was very scary and I tried to like not just dismiss how I was feeling. I tried to just sit with the fact like, yeah, okay, it's scary. You feel scared. You feel anxious. But those are valid feelings. Honestly, waiting in line was really, really boring. <laughs> 
I think it would be really fun to do with like a group of friends, but on my own, it was literally the most boring thing I've ever done in my life. Um, I ended up waiting from 12 p.m. Doors opened at 7 p.m. The opener started at 8, Noah started at 9. So it was a long time of waiting, which is like, obviously that's what I signed up for. I'm not actually complaining about it, but I don't know if I would do it again. Definitely would never do it again alone. With a group of friends, I could be convinced into doing it, but it's not for the lighthearted. And I am very lighthearted. My back was so sore from sitting on the ground, but then my feet hurt when I stood for too long. It was just like, am I like too old for this? Like is 25 too old? However, being so close to Noah on stage was insane. I've never experienced anything like that before. I've never been so close at a concert before and I can see why people do it. I really can. <sighs> It was literally insane. All day I was just like people watching. And so I had so many thoughts on like people's behaviors and stuff. And I think it's so interesting because concerts like positively bring everyone together. Like everyone is here at this venue because they love Noah and love his music. But also concerts just bring out the worst in people. I feel like it makes everyone so greedy. And like I was physically watching people just like push in line. Like there were people that got to the venue like hours after me and the people that I was around who got closer in the venue because they were like, jumping the line and pushing their way through it was just kind of like gross and obviously like i'm a people pleaser so i'm on like the opposite end of that spectrum like in a bad way where like i would almost just let anyone walk all over me and i found it really hard to not do that um <laughs> like stand my ground and not let people like push me out of the way but i was just like oh and then once we were inside like waiting for the opener to start and then the little bit of time between the opener and noah i feel like the people around me were just like not that nice and like not being aware of their social surroundings like i'm in the mosh like I know that it was gonna be crowded and busy and like I'd be getting pushed and stuff but it was just like they're at a group of friends and they're talking waving their arms around like hitting me and it's just like why are you not being spatially aware right now it was just very strange I honestly had a really good spot at the start for most of the set I got a great view like in between a few people's heads and then towards the end everyone kind of moved a lot of people were fainting which I've never really seen before but they were dropping like flies and it was so scary and so because of that everyone's moving around and then by the end I couldn't really see. They're just like the negative things that I just like, because I wasn't like talking to anyone or like really on my phone a lot, I just got to sit back and like watch how people behaved in this social situation. I just thought it was really interesting. I'm not saying this like I'm perfect and like I'm sure I did things to annoy people at the concert as well, but that's just my two cents. I sobbed, I want to say like 70% of the show. I was kind of expecting it. I almost had a panic attack before the opener came out and I was really, really scared that I would have to like run out and I had waited all day for nothing. So I brought my AirPods in with me. And so I put them in and listened to Noah Khan and it really calmed me down. And I didn't have a panic attack, which I'm so glad about. But I think because I was so on edge, the day had already been like hard and emotional, just like doing a hard thing. Something that I would consider hard. I'm not saying that going to the concert on your own is the hardest thing ever. I'm just saying it was hard for me. I was so highly emotional from doing a hard thing and then highly emotional from talking myself down from a panic attack. And then he just starts playing songs like Rowing Sideways and I'm sobbing. Thing, just standing there on my own and if I thought about it too much I was like oh is it embarrassing and like lame that I'm just here on my own but I feel like I really got to like soak it all in and like sing every word and really just like look at Noah who's so close to me and like take everything in and it was so surreal I actually just can't believe it I also got to meet oof, so many friends tonight, which was so fun. And I had so many great conversations and oh, like you guys are just the best. Like sometimes I really, really overthink like what the fuck am I even doing on the internet? Like, am I doing any good? I don't know. Like I just overthink everything that I do online all the time. And it's so easy to read nice comments online and like not let them like hit me. But having some conversations with some of you tonight, I literally was like looking at people like getting teary eyed because it just like, I'm just in a different state at this concert alone and like I have friends who are really nice and like mean so well are complete strangers to me but like appreciate what I do and it just like blew my mind like I am just so blessed with my people on the internet <sighs> That's all I really have to say. Today was really hard, but I'm so proud of myself for like proving to myself that I could do it. If you came up and said hi to me at the concert, like thank you so much. I hope you know how much you made my night. I can't believe I got to see my second top artist live. Fuck, I'm so grateful. Oh my God. I just posted a bunch of spam to my stories. A few of my favorite songs and I'm just gonna go watch all my videos before I go to sleep and just really soak that in. I can't believe it. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm checking out, flying home. I'm very excited to go home. That's so grateful for this opportunity. Mm -hmm.
currently 7.30. Look how cute my phone background is. It's 7.30 and I am showered, ready for bed. Whoops. I was updating you at like 1 a.m. this morning after the concert and then my body anxiously woke me up this morning, scared that I was going to miss my alarm and then I would sleep in past checkout time and miss my pre-ordered Uber and then miss my flight. <laughs> Obviously that was not going to happen. I was not going to sleep until 11 a.m. But that's how my morning started. Honestly, I had like the smoothest travel day today. Not that <laughs> flying from Sydney to the Gold Coast is a whole travel day, but everything just went so, 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 so smooth. I also thought it was the case, and maybe it's just different airlines, but I always thought it was the case that you couldn't check in physically for your flight until two hours before, but I checked in like three hours early and I got in, which was so good. And I smashed out a bunch of work and then had my flight. I never do this, but I paid to have extra leg room. It was game changing, unfortunately. It's one of those things that's like, well, once you do it once, are you just going to want to do it every time? But I shouldn't. Because like, is it a waste of money? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Great flight. An hour and 20 minutes. Like, that's so good. And then my bag was like one of the first five to come out on the conveyor belt. So it was honestly amazing. My Uber arrived exactly as I walked out the door. Took me home. I've unpacked. I've done all my washing. My house is clean. And I'm so happy to be in my bed. I love my bed so much. Like, this is one of my top five favorite places in the whole world. My bed right here. It's 7 30 and I'm in bed because I'm like kind of just too tired to be productive anymore. Equally I don't know if I'm tired enough to just go to sleep right now. I'm not really sure so I'm gonna read my book. Also I finished The House in the Cerulean Sea. I think I'm giving it a solid four stars but I think it will be a book that I would keep thinking about for a while so maybe I'll bump it up. Depends on your rating system but I really really loved it. If you're queer I think you should definitely definitely read it. One of the I don't know what they're called but like when other authors write little quotes about the book. One author wrote this book feels like being wrapped in a big gay blanket and that's kind of the perfect description honestly. Pure queer love but it like the whole book wasn't about being queer. Like you probably wouldn't have even known it was queer until like the last 20 I was sobbing. I'll insert a photo here that I sent to Rachel. I was sobbing. But I finally moved on to Once Upon a Broken Heart. This is the first book in a series. Rachel's read it. Soph just finished reading it and she was like the extra push I needed to start it. I started it in line at the concert and then I read my whole flight today. So... <sighs> Nice. I thought I was going to be like 30% or something. I'm at 44%. That's such a sleigh. I was kind of thinking of maybe setting my alarm early and going and watching the sunrise at the beach. But also, do I just want like a chill sleep in moment in my bed? Because I haven't had that in a bit. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. And I'm so fucking sick of making every decision for myself. If anyone is watching this who is single and lives alone, maybe you'll understand what I mean. I think especially like solo travel always makes me feel like this. It's so good. It's so empowering. I think everyone should do it. But also it gets to the point where you just have like decision fatigue because you are making every single decision which is a pro and a con is one of like the biggest pros of solo travel because you get to do whatever you want because it doesn't affect anyone else but it's a con because I just get such decision fatigue I'm so tired of making my own decisions I just wish someone could just like make one for me so I could just like not think about it I've been racking my brain whether I want to wake up for sunrise or not and I just can't decide and I'm, I just want someone to be like yeah you're doing it or yeah you're not and that it just be done for me so <laughs> any mask lesbians what do this all what I'm saying is I would love a girlfriend to be lying right here helping me make my daily decisions because it's rough out here anyway <laughs> just had to get that off my chest apparently I don't know live laugh love update I need my hooded talents on the bottom of the pile don't look at my messy linen I decided to not wake up at sunrise and I'm so glad I did because I set my alarm for like the latest time I could sleep in and I slept for like 12 hours <laughs> I was not expecting, but Rach is about to be here with Winnie and I'm so excited to see him. I do have separation issues. Oh, oh big wing. Oh, the tail is wagging. Welcome home, sir. 